Alright, here we go. So this is the ETB Celebrations 25th Anniversary box. If you guys have never seen one of these, they're pretty cool. What it comes with, it comes with this fancy dancy book. And in this book it tells you what the cards are inside. So the ones you want to be looking out for. So your common, uncommon, chase cards. This is the card that we want. We want the Charizard. Uh, I've already got a Mewtwo, but that'd be nice to pull. A Luxury. And a Rayquaka. And a Tapu Lele. Those are the main cards. And we already have a Green Greninja. We have two of those. But... We're hoping to get a Charizard because I have never pulled a legit Charizard out of any of these boxes or packs or anything. So, definitely looking forward to one. I pulled a Mew EX. Um, I have never pulled a Shining Magikarp or a Charizard. I pulled a Claydol. And I haven't pulled a Ray Quaker. So, definitely uh, that's, that's what we're looking for. I've pulled a Xerneas EX. A Mewtwo EX, a Vecrom, Reshram. I haven't pulled a Tapu Lele GX. So these are the ones we're looking for, the ones we don't have. All right, so that's the booklet you get with it, which is pretty sweet. All right, moving on, let's go ahead and open up the box. Comes with this uh, Pokemon trading card rules. This is for if you play the trading card game, which I don't. I just like to collect the cards, which I think is great. You know, which is fun. All right, so what it comes with is, you know, it comes with your deck of cards, dice, your little pendants, and it comes with all these cards. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten celebrations packs, and then it comes with two darkness of a blaze and then it comes with three I'm sorry one vivid voltage one chilling rain and one battle styles so there is a good amount of uh, decent uh, suits of the cards okay let me go ahead and put that light on right there get some there we go you guys can see the cards a little bit better so they're more vibrant we do have some top loaders and we do have some sleeves with ETBs if you guys are not familiar it does come with sleeves by the way so you can pull out the celebration sleeves and go ahead and use those to sleeve the cards up if you would like which I usually do that way you don't have to keep buying sleeves you can just get it from the pack itself which is nice so go ahead and put those into here all right so without further ado people let's go ahead and break into our first celebrations pack if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for future videos to find your way back to this channel. If you enjoy Pokemon opening videos, which I do as well. All right. So straight off the bat, we have a Dialga. Kyogre. Oh. Oh. Birthday Pikachu and a Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. So we seem to pull these quite often. Uh, so they don't really, you know, impress me that much, but they are pretty decent still, nonetheless. Alright. Alright, moving on to our next pack. We have a. Ho O, -Oh. a Reshram, we have a Dialga, and a Surfing Pikachu V. Co card if you need it. Alright, moving on to our next celebration pack. Fucking hate opening the packs, man. The actual packs themselves, I wish someone else could open them and I can just go through them and see what luckiness we've got, you know? Alright, here we go. Alright, 
So we got a Cosmium, Cosmog. Oh my goodness, a Garchomp C and a Mew. So a Garchomp C and there's a code card if you need it. Good lord, look at that card, very nice. Never got one of these before, so we're gonna go ahead and sleeve it right away. Yes, indeed. As you can see, this is a, a beautiful card. The artwork on it is stunning. Um, yeah, look at that. Really nice looking card. Okay. Set that to the back. Yeah. Definitely a good pull for that one. All right, moving on to the next card. You know, the centering on his... Hold on a minute, people. The centering on his birthday Pikachu is actually pretty, pretty good. It's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this birthday Pikachu as well. Just because the fact of the centering is pretty spot on. So... This would be a good graded card, most likely. Alright, moving on to the next pack. Celebrations. Celebrations are easily my favorite suits because they resemble the old classic style Pokemon cards. You know, the first editions. Uh, Uvatool. Vecrom. Lugia. And again, another... Red Cheeks, Pikachu. I have pulled so many of those. Alright, next. We have a Ver Vernius. Kyogre. Dialga. And a Surfing Pikachu VMAX. And there is a card if you need it. Not a bad pull, not a bad pull. How's the centering on this one? Eh, it's not too shabby, it's all right. Yep, Surfing Pikachu VMAX, not too bad. Crack open another pack. Hopefully we get lucky. Got a Vernius. Got a Cosmog. Oh, we got the Charizard! Yes! We got the Charizard, finally! I've pulled my first Charizard. This is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put our first Charizard card. I am completely... Completely over the moon, and we've got a Luana behind it. And there is your co card if you need it. There it is. Yes! What a beautiful card this is. Uh, unfortunately, it might be crimped at the edges. The centering is nearly spot on. But we have the Charizard, the sought after card, the number one card in the pack, in the suit. I can't see. And. We're definitely going to seal this up right now and my hand is shaking because this is a card that is very hard to come across. Um, oh my goodness. How did we get so lucky with this pack? Holy smokes. This card is going for about a hundred bucks right now on TCG, uh, warehouse on eBay, um, Facebook marketplace, any place you go, this card is valued very, very high. Um, yeah, especially once they're graded, and this is definitely a card I will definitely be getting graded once the grading prices have reduced. Um, holy shit. I uh, don't want to swear on stream but or on video, but holy... Wow. Didn't... Hoping for it, but it actually came true. That is sweet. Okay. Next. That's all I wanted. Anything else doesn't matter right now. That's the only card I really wanted the most. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy I picked this pack, this uh, box. Got so lucky. Okay, so 
Lugia. I was actually going to pick the other box as well and just keep it sealed. But uh, luckily I picked this one, so I got very, very lucky chat. Cosmian. Um, Ho-Oh. And a Surfing Pikachu V, which is a nice card. And there is your code card if you need it, if you are digital. Which I don't do digital, I just do physical cards. So if you need it, go ahead and take it for free. Go through my videos, my Pokemon videos, you'll find a lot of code cards. I give out all of them for free. Um, so go ahead and snag those up. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe um, for future videos. I'm a very real streamer, so I don't like to overhype these things and, uh, you know, say that I pulled these cards and I didn't. That was a fresh pack, a fresh, a fresh pull, you guys could see it. So, oh my goodness, I am so happy with that Charizard. That is, uh, that is so cool. Actually, down the line, I was planning to actually buy one from a, from a private source, and now I don't have to. So, big relief. I pulled it myself, and um, that is one that's going to be in my collection for a very, very long time. Um, at least five to ten years, because that thing is going to be worth an absolute fortune in five to ten years from now. You know, it's this very sought-after card. Um, I, can't, I can't even focus right now. I'm just so giddy. I know you guys are a little bit excited for me as well, and I know you wish that this was your pack. So you, some of you might be secretly jealous, and I understand that. That's okay. I've been there too, and I've been seeing other people pulling Charizards, and I'm not pulling anything, so... Finally, I got blessed. Okay, Vecrom. Dialga. Oh, I got a trainer. Got a trainer. Here comes Team Rocket. That's an alright card. And a Professor's Research. So those are alright cards. Um, that's the code. There's your code. Code Seekers. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, I like this card, so I'm going to sleeve it up. I'm going to sleeve it up. Let me just take a break from pulling cards real quick. I'm just going to sleeve these cards up. Oh, my goodness. I like to sleeve up the, um, the rare cards. And I definitely sleeve up the ultra rares and the secret rares, and the full arts, and, you know. All right, so I think we might have missed a couple here that I might just work on sleeving up. All right. Go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up as well. But the centering on that Charizard is actually pretty darn good. Um, very impressed with the centering on it. Uh, the top right is a little thin and there's a little fat on the left. The bottom is very balanced. So it's just the top is a little off. It's probably going to come back with an 8 or a 9 grade. Uh, not a 10, unfortunately. Which would have been worth an absolute fortune. Um, but, yeah, it's just going to be... a. A lower grade due to the manufacturer not centering it correctly when they developed these cards originally and that's a shame that's a, that's a shame this is this these kind of cards the charizard you we want to take your time on um you know uh, definitely a massive collectible item it's the one of the number one sought after cards um charizards all right so here we go another pack of celebrations um hoping that we do another good pull hopefully we uh if we get two charizards i'll be very surprised but if we get another hit that'd be great all right so cosmog yuvatel we've got a palkia a soul gallia gallia oh and then a co card is right there boom moving on to our next card So I've pulled, I've pulled two two hit cards today that I've never ever received in my life. So that's pretty sweet. All right, Yuvatel. One of them is a big one. Vernias. Got a Cosmog. Uh, Lulana. And a Co card. Okay. So he's gonna set these to the side. These somewhat commonish cards. 
and then we're going to go ahead and start opening up darkness ablaze all right let's get right into it rip into some packs probably the most exciting thing for me is is ripping into these packs and and you know figuring out what we have and what we don't have okay so work at the back code card if you need it there you go give you a second to go ahead and put that in there Okay, three cards to the front. Boom. Here we go. Without further ado, we have a Flaffy, Carnivine, a Powerful Energy, Electrolyte, a Mr. Mime. Grima, Clink, Skitty, a Stini, Gozly Plod, Gozy Pod. Okay, so those that last card is pretty nice. I like the the coloration in it. Very nice background. Nice. Holographic card. Go ahead and sleeve that one up. Like I said, the rare cards, if it's got a star on it, I'm going to sleeve, most likely. Unless it's a common um, star card. And if it's got a reverse holographic on it, I usually do sleeve it to protect the reverse holographic from being scratched up. All right, moving on to our next pack. Another Darkness Ablaze, Sword of Shields. Let's go ahead and rip into it without ripping the cards themselves. Okay, so we have a Kufant. Check. Sinistee. Feebas. We have a Passamine. A Fletchling. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Reverse holographic Teddy Ursur. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up. Put that to the side. A Swanna. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up too. Uh, lightning card. Sorry, I didn't flip the cards correctly. Ariadus. Dog Trio. Billowing Smoke. And there is your code card, people. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve some of these up right now because I saw a couple of stars in there. To symbolize the rare, and there was a one uh, reverse holographic which looked pretty nice. And I like to preserve the reflective material on the card because I do like the way the cards look. I don't just get them for their value all the time, that's just a bonus. But I do like the way some of these cards actually look, they are mini versions of artwork to me, believe it or not. All right. Gonna go ahead and add that to the stack of cards. All right, what we got? Vivid Voltage. All right. Let's go ahead and rip into this pack and take a gander. Will we take a look? All right, so we got Ferio Seed, Dididine, Drillbur. That's a nice looking picture. I like that one. We have Oshawott, Duskull, oh, Opal, Reverse Holographic, it's a pretty nice looking card, I like that one, we're going to go ahead and sleeve that one up, for sure, um, Shedinja, we'll sleeve that, just because it's a star card, oh, Fire Energy, nice, Heroes Medal, a Hit Montop, Crocker Rock, we've seen that so many times. Sick of seeing Crocker Rock. There's your code card for you digital people. Next card is Chilling Rain Suit from the Sword and Shields packs. I'm gonna go ahead and rip into this. Um, give me a give me a second chat. I'm not too good at ripping in these packs. 
you know, part of me doesn't want to rip the cards underneath, so I have to be careful. Oh, shit, was that me or was that the manufacturer? I don't know. Oh, I hope they feel that wasn't me ripping in the card. Boona Sweet, how does she out? God damn it. In Snuggles, go back in your box. Michelle, close the door. Inkay is next. Cub Fu. We have a Diglett. A Score Bunny. Oh, that's a nice looking card. Snorunt. I really like this card right here. Very nice. A Malamar. Okay, that needs to be sleeved. Water Energy card. Whirlipede. A Frackery. Peony. And there is your co-card people. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve some of these up. Especially the ones I haven't really seen before, like this one. Malamar. Sleeve that one up. This is a very nice looking card, by the way. I really like this one. It's called a Snorunt, but the blue on it is actually, it's very stunning. Really cool looking card. Um, it's not valued very much, but it is a very nice looking one. All right, so here we go. Like I said, sometimes it's just about the artwork and it's not always about the price, but if you can get both, that's a, that's a double whammy. All right. This is Shed Ninja. If you guys have missed it, we did pull this Charizard and this is stunning. Um, you can see the bottom is pretty good, but the top, this, this, the centering is a little off. So probably a nine, uh, maybe even an eight for grading, unfortunately. All right, moving on. We still got to sleeve up a couple. This one, sleeve this up. Sleeve up this opal. All right. The rest of these cards can join the stack. Stack, stack, stack. You see how many common cards we got versus the ones we really need. Okay, so last pack. This is Battle Star with Sword and Shield. Let's go ahead and rip into it. I don't have much battery on my camera, so we're gonna have to move a little bit of quickness on it. We're gonna have to move with some purpose here, people. Alright, so there it is, co card for you digital people. All right, one, two, three, four to the front. Let's go with lightning. It is lightning, perfect. What a guess, more Pico. Okay, so we got more Pico. Got Durant, single strike mustard, another Shinx, a blip bug, a Pawniard, a Mankey, a Sizzlypede, a Gerdor, and a Jellicent. Okay, so yeah, we did pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys the pools, starting from the left. So, Surfing Pikachu VMAX, got a Garchomp C, level X, Birthday Pikachu, we got a Surfing Pikachu V, a Yellow Cheeks Fat Pikachu, a Charizard, finally, my first Charizard I've ever pulled. Very happy about that one. And to, we have a Surfing Pikachu V. So, pretty decent. We did all right. Got some pretty good pulls. And I'm happy with it. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And if you can press that like button if you enjoyed the video, I'd most appreciate it. Have a good day, people.